I would also like to uh, take this opportunity to welcome Mrs. Chopra and Mrs. Nirmala Devi with us, who also associated with the field of education. I know you don't want to hear me anymore because you always hear me, so I, without any further delay, hand over to Dr. Chand. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. My name is Professor Harsh Chadha, born in India, 52 years old, stayed in Dubai for 22 years. Double your lives out here. I was here when this was only sand, and that's what I'm going to talk about, sand. The subject I'd like to discuss with you is environment. I've traveled in 250 cities, photographed architecture, nature, environment, animals, people, and I've also traveled in 85 countries around the world. I come to share my vision with you, and I come to open doors and windows in your minds. This is going to be a very different lecture that you have ever had in your life before. Are you all excited? Yes, sir. Are you all excited? Yes, sir. I'm wearing jeans, you know that? I'm one of the young people too. <laughs> well, let me thank... Let me thank all of you for being here and giving me your kind attention. For <coughs> Mrs. Marwa, your principal to invite me. And it's a pleasure to be here because my children also studied in DPS. All three of my children passed out of DPS. And it's a great school and I'm happy and proud to be here and associate myself with you all. This is an interactive kind of a lecture. I need the great minds that you have and the future generations over here to express their thoughts. So, can we first start by everyone from closing their eyes and taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And for that one second that you close your eyes, can all of you think of something? Please, start. Tell me your name. Yeah, go ahead. Don't be shy. Uh, I, I briefly think of something I just thought about the game. A game? Yeah. Okay. It's At least you're game. honest. That's good. Can you get... What did you think about? Uh, I thought about myself chasing a cheetah. Very good. Very good. You found yourself chasing a cheetah. That's what I was looking for. Someone who loves animals. How many of you love animals out here? Put your hands up. Really? That's all? How many of you love birds out here? Very good, very good. Alright. Let's have three, three boys who love animals and birds to put their hands up and come as volunteers right up here. Three boys. Sure. Sure. Come on down. What's your name? My name is Bilal. Bilal. How old are you? 17. My name is Ahmad. I am 18, 19 years old. 55. My name is Abhay. I am 16 years old. Very good. My name is... Professor Harsh Chadha and I'm 52 years old. Okay. Can I have three young ladies on this side who can be volunteers? Very good. Can you tell me your name? Kirtana. Kirtana. Okay. Please. Alright. Can you tell me your name? Go ahead. Tell me your name. I'm a Purva. I'm a Purva, 14 years old. 14. Give it to the next girl. Nupur, 16. Okay. Shruti, 14. Alright. Kiran, 14. 
Okay. Kaya 14. All right. You all are going to work very hard now. You know, you volunteered and you're going to do a lot of hard work for me. Are you all ready? Are you all ready out there? Good. So many young men, pick up the blackboard, divide the board into half. Okay? All right. Can you put down over there the word environment? Can you write your name on the side over there? Cleanliness, right? Thank you. Well, why did you write that? Take my mind, by the way. Hello? Yeah, well, I wrote Source of Life because the environment is basically what how we live, you know, provides food, closing shelter, then it's an oxygen source, okay, it recycles. Oh, I can read what's on the board. Can you expand on it? Can you at least give me three sentences on everything that you wrote? Well, Go a little deeper on that. Source of life because if there's no environment, there's no us. You know, right? if there are no plants, no trees, no, there's, there, there's no life. Then there are no insects, there are no animals, we can't survive. Okay. Then oxygen source because we give out carbon dioxide, they take in carbon dioxide and give us oxygen. We need oxygen to live, so does everything that moves on this earth. Okay. Then agriculture, well, uh, plants are the basic substance through which we get everything, through which I get my clothes, shoes, sure, you know, everything. Okay. So basically that's it. <coughs> so Bilal, did everyone hear that? All the boys, all the girls? Are you sure? Because I'm going to go back and turn you around and ask you what did he say. So don't fool me, okay? Alright? Be serious on this. This is what he said. Now the next question that I ask him is, what can he do to make a difference of what he said? Can you explain that to your fellow students? Is there anything in those three things that you can do that can make a difference in what you said? To help this environment. Go ahead. Well, lately, you know, we have been having deforestation, less of trees, you know, global warming. So, I'll t you know, if it was up to me, I'd try to expand the number of forests. Right. And make it more eco-friendly. Right. You know, less of, uh, use less of wood. Right. More of the alternatives. Right. And make, it, make the world a better place. Thank you very much. Give him a hand, please. <laughs> 